Hey, it's Adam here, and I am on that RGBIC kick. Here we got some RGBIC WW, so you can get the white also. RGB, red, blue, red, red, green, blue, and then ICZ integrated chip. So you can control these individually, whatever color you want. These are outdoor floodlights, LED landscape lighting. They have 35 different scene modes, four music modes. They're smart color changing. They're IP65 waterproof. You can control it with your app, put it on your wall. Hoy, I just want to open them, put them on my house, let you see what they look like. Woo! So here we see opening the box and you can see the user's manual and the welcome to the Govi family card on top. Underneath, there are six floodlights. Now you can get a two pack, a four pack, or a six pack. And I wanna make a note here that you cannot expand the packs. Okay, so once you buy a set, that's as long as your cord can be. Inside this box right here are, is the power cord and the power adapter needed to hook up all of the floodlights. A simple 110 volt socket, and then it's got waterproof connectors for all of the lights. I'm just popping the lights out here. You have to put the spike on the bottom unless you're gonna mount it to something, and that just requires a simple screw. Here's the user's manual, very easy to use, very simple to set up. If you have any questions, access it. This is the power cord here. It is not waterproof. So you need to make sure you put this in a spot where rain is not gonna get it or buy a waterproof box or strip and put it inside of that. There are others available that you can do that. Here I have a pretty fancy porch that the water doesn't get on at all and I got a power strip that I sit on so it's pretty easy. Once you have that, you can run the wire over your mulch bed to start it off. There's T connectors every 10 or 15 feet and just take the unit, undo the twisty cord's about 18 inches long so you don't have a lot of range for where you can put that but I like to just take the light stick it into the mulch first and then once that's in I can take the cord and hook the cord up so the first thing is you plug it in it only plugs in one way and then you can twist the connector to make sure that it is going to be a watertight connection then you can go around and connect up several lights. So here I have three lights, this one in the foreground and there's two in the background. You can aim it up to 270 degrees. So you have a lot of flexibility on how high up that you wanna be able to aim that. And the spike actually works pretty well in, in, in my mulch bed anyway. I have to add some more mulch this summer, but the spike holds very well. Here you can see I just turned it on. It's going through multiple colors, it's still daytime, but I'm gonna give you a nighttime shot this is the app you download. Easy to add this to the app. There are literally four million combinations that you can do. You can see I'm clicking on it here. You have to be within Bluetooth range. You have to input your Wi-Fi, and then you can control this unit from anywhere in the world. And it has literally a million different things that you can do with it. It's so cool. Mine needed an equipment upgrade, little firmware getting sent to it. But look at this. All these colors you can pick. There's scenes you can pick. They have preset things that you can do so i just played with a couple of them here and i think you know i think this one was called spring so it just had more of a spring feel obviously nighttime now and then this was another one another one that i pulled that was just a fun one that moved around a lot you can see the lights here they're not super bright but they're not dim either and i think they actually do really well on my house I have a pretty big house, so it doesn't cover much of the house. You can see here, I just picked blue and then I picked green. I would probably like to put 10 across the whole front of my house. So make sure you get enough to do your own.